Once Upon a Time in America. She can currently be seen in Higher Learning. Folks, please welcome Jennifer Connolly. <laughs> Nice to meet you. How oh, are you? Nice Diddy. I like that. <laughs> wow. Hi. Oh, man. I'm, I'm great, actually. Life uh -huh. is so fun. I'm Life is good right now? Yeah. Higher Learning's doing well? Higher it's Learning's a, doing really well. Yeah. It's a yeah. good movie. I saw that. We've had uh, some of the cast on already on the show. Did you? Yeah. And uh, we had the director on. and it was, uh, Yeah, it's a very good movie. I went and saw it. I enjoyed it a lot. John Boy, he's a great guy, isn't he? Yeah. Intense. Very nice man. He's intense, yeah. He takes his work so seriously. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's now, really... now, you finished the movie how long ago? Uh, it was like that was a while ago. That was that was that was summerish time. That was like August. Right. So, so this movie was done for you a little while ago, and yes, and, it was. You, and you took a trip, right? Yeah. You took a trip afterwards because yes. I thought this was really unusual. You went to where went, was it? I went to Tibet. You went to Tibet? Yes. Because not many people do that when they wrap a movie. Say, now it's time for me to cool off and go to Tibet. Yeah, it's kind of a wanderlust kind of sort of thing. It's like it's, it's a it's a, it's a free roaming. You know, I I grew up in Woodstock, you know, upstate New York, so I had this sort of like wandering hippie aspect to myself. So I had to. <laughs> do you drive uh, a VW bus? And no, I don't <laughs> no. actually, but uh, but I but I love them. I would like to. Mm -hmm. um, but I yeah, I did. I went to Tibet. I went trekking. It's it's an absolutely beautiful place. I was there for a month. Um, I was uh, camping. For, really? For, so you, uh, so you didn't just time. you didn't just go to Tibet and stay like in a luxury five star hotel. You actually no, walked no. around. Yeah, yeah. I was I walked to the around the um, east face. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Does anyone ever like talk to you over here? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they do. It's um, fine. He won't um, bite. He's nice. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I was uh, no, I was I was camping. I walked to the east face of Mount Everest. Um, it's called the Kangsheng face. Mm -hmm. I walked to uh, to Lands End. It's like eight, we went up to like eighteen thousand feet. And uh, this is, uh, doesn't that like where the oxygen stops? Isn't yeah, that... it, gets, it, gets, it gets pretty, pretty rarefied <laughs> up there. I it's need oxygen fun. to get by. I don't know about you, but yeah, but it was great. I mean, I, like, I didn't take a shower for, for a month, which I had never done before. Really? Yeah, it was, I mean, I was in the tent. I had like a little, they, they came with washing water every morning to my. You went a month without bathing? Yeah, I did. It was spectacular. <laughs> Well, uh, well, my hair looked really good by then. <laughs> I had to, and it was so uh -huh. cold, you know, because yeah. it was. I mean, it was. It's in Mount Everest. It's cold. It's cold mm -hmm. there. You're in glaciers, wind whipping, all this kind of stuff. So I, I, I had this hat that I would wear every day, and boy, my hair was just like stuck inside that hat. It was. It was. It was. Fierce. This is a really disgusting picture, actually. You're painting. Yeah. Isn't now, it? now, what happens to you when you're just? I mean, because you're you're walking around Tibet, sort of like cane and kung fu you're not showering mm -hmm. you know you're getting really dirty and sweaty D did your personality change at all when you did this i was uh i felt myself to be like a blue sheep actually a what a blue sheep <laughs> <laughs> no I... <laughs> okay no, it's, my you personal... just went somewhere really it's great really... man yeah right <laughs> no it was like a... you just took a weird trip man <laughs> what it's sort of, it's sort of, it's sort of a, an, an animalistic thing that happens. I think being in the mountains, it's mm -hmm. like you know, you get you. It, there's none of this. There's none of this stuff that you're supposed to do. It's like all you have to do is like wake up at sunrise and walk. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what do you do? What are you going to do with your day? It's like, uh, it's really wonderful. All these like layers of things that seem to be important but really aren't sort of fall away. I just think. all kind of just disappear. And so you became like an animal. Look at my teeth. See that? <laughs> oh yeah, you've got a fang, a actually. Exactly. Wow. Me, I just like to go to like a really nice hotel and watch cable. You know? Yeah. <laughs> that's just, but that's me. That that scares I, me, Conan. That scares I, me. I know. Actually. Very. Stuff falls away that way too. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Layers, yeah. layers. Layers crumble there. Layers start to find what's important. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Cinemax, very yeah. important. Um, now, did uh, did you? What do they have in Tibet? Tibet is where they have. Yaks, right? They have yaks in Tibet. They have yaks. They have yak. They have many things. They have yaks and yak products up the wazoo. <laughs> they have. Uh, they have yak. This is what are you tell you talking like yak jerky. What? what, yeah. what? <laughs> no, what they what they have is uh, they drink yak butter tea. Um, they have butter lamps made of yak butter. That's the fuel that that, that they burn by. Mm -hmm. They smear the yak. They bring the yak butter to the monasteries and offer it to the gods. The yak butter. And they put it in their hair and on their skin as kind of like a moisturizer. And they also use yak dung 
as, uh, as, as for fires, which has a great smell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, yeah, a romantic evening around a yak around dung fire. fire. <laughs> Eating <Yeah>. yak jerky. <laughs> it's great. It's great stuff. And That's the, incredible. Yeah, I just picture a whole country where literally everything is made out of a yak in some form or another. People are like driving around in dried out yaks with motors in them. You know. that's, that's an interesting imagination you got there. Well, I'm a weird freak. Uh, now, uh, power to you. Huh? Yeah, yeah so thank more you. Power to you. It's thank a great you very thing. much. Um, so you're away all this time. You mentioned a monastery. Did you actually go and see a monastery? Yeah, I went to many monasteries. Very, very, very beautiful. Um, I would think you would be a distraction at a monastery, you know, <laughs> if I had. Do you know what I mean? Aren't they supposed to be away from women and aren't they supposed to be kind of very pure and. They have people. They have people coming in. Um, you know what's wonderful about the monks there is that it's they're not like um, they don't they they don't have any affectations mm -hmm. of um, holiness. Mm -hmm. So they they're not like really sober all the time. I mean, they're laughing. They're having a good time. They're like joking around. They're playing with one another. It's really nice. You they know? don't feel like. <laughs> what? <When> you... <laughs> no. So no, goofy monks is a very fun goofy image. Monks. No, it's like I mean, I was sh I was shocked actually. I expected everyone to be like you know very quiet and like this all the time, but they're not. They're like joking around. When you said they're not sober, I just imagined a lot of drinking. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Monks hanging out of the tower. Yeah, but you man. know, it's but you know, it's beautiful. We rule. Yeah. What's um What's beautiful um, about them is that uh, they're they're very open to to people. I mean, if you if you sort of come in and look interested in what they're doing, they um, very much like to. Um, share their experience mm -hmm. with you and uh, introduce you to their culture and and let you partake in what in what they're doing. So, for example, I was uh, went to see um, hear them chant because mm -hmm. you know they they do this beautiful chanting. Um, and I was in this place called the Jokong Monastery, and it's a sacred sacred temple and everything. And they have very young monks too. They start when they're very young, and they were like in this enclosed area, and uh, they saw me like looking at them like this. I was so fascinated. And they let me come in and sit um, with the monks. And then I was, you know, I was kind of like sitting, sitting far back. And they were up there, and there was just like twelve-year-old little monk kept like looking back a at me. Twelve-year-old monk? Yeah, really, I mean, they That's start a huge they, decision to make at twelve. You know, they start when they're like five. They start really, really young. Yeah, but anyway, he like I, I was staring at this this kid. He was like so. It was so wonderful to me. And he he kind of like waves me over and rolls out this little piece of carpet for me. And I sat right behind him. I, mean, I was sitting like this close to him. And he mm -hmm. was like so happy. He was like <laughs> nodding. Like, he uh -huh. was like, yeah. this is where it's at. And I, I thought it was really, really beautiful. And they come over and they give you like, the, um, an older monk came and gave me this white scarf, which is a symbolic gesture. Mm -hmm. They do it and it's like a, it's like a blessing. I bet so you it was made of yak. Moving. I bet you it was yes. it some kind like of yak. yak. It smelled of yak. It smelled like yak. That sounds that's like sure. that's a cool trip, though. It sounds like it a good really time. It was really beautiful. Do you feel like now it must be weird to be back? You're back now, and you're riding running cabs and chewing yeah, bubble gum. Yeah, it happens fast. Listening to a Walkman. But yeah. I still have my picture of the Dalai Lama. What? Where is it? Oh, down there. Oh. Cool. You actually have a little picture of the Dalai Lama? I actually is his do. picture on everything else? Is it like Elvis there? Is it just there are plates? And... Um, um, actually, it's it's uh, it's illegal, which is very sad. They're, it's they're, oh, that's right. They're not allowed to have they photographs can't have it. That's of, right. of the uh, of the Dalai Lama, which is sad. So where did you get that? You actually got that there? This was contraband. Oh. Yeah, it was um, someone that uh, was there that I befriended over there had this, and you know a lot of people have them. They just hide them, and he wound up giving it to me. Very actually, cool. which was touching. Yeah, it was yeah. very nice. Yeah. And uh, the movie is uh, oh, Higher, learning. Higher we're, Learning. We're out of time, but uh, oh Higher God, Learning is a movie. So People should check that out. Yeah, and, please do. Uh, yeah, please and you do. just, you're working on a movie right now, is that right? Or you just finished wrapping it or something? No, I have another one that's going to come out in October or November, probably. Do you want to just called, mention the name of it? It's called Of Love and Shadows. All right. People should watch for that. It was very nice meeting nice you. Meeting Thanks you. for coming. Thanks. Sounds like a neat trip. Jennifer Connolly, everybody, we'll be right back with Sister Jean Kenny. We'll see you in a second.